Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you are all doing well, and welcome back to Chelsea News, the series where I go through Chelsea news, football news media, grab all the stuff regarding Chelsea, consolidate it into a package, present it to you guys, offer you my opinion, and most importantly, more importantly, I mean, ask for your opinion on the stories I talk about in the video. Not the best English there, but I got there in the end, so welcome back, and we're talking about three stories today. One's quite a big one. The Premier League has approved the five substitutes rule for the resumption of football, something that's been going on and we've seen in the Bundesliga out in Germany. We're going to now see that in the Premier League and I'm going to talk to you about how that affects Chelsea Football Club. Also, the head honcho at Bild out in Germany, the publication has said Chelsea are at the table regarding Kai Havertz. So Chelsea are indeed in for the young Germanic forward. If you are to believe what the dude from Bill is saying. I mean, he seems pretty confident, so I'm kind of inclined to believe it. And another update on Ben Chilwell to Chelsea. That's right, Chilly B. <laughs> uh, Simon Johnson has said that he reckons Chelsea could secure the player for 40 to 50 million, not the original stated 85 million, which of course is extortionate, especially in this financial climate. And apparently relationships are good between Leicester and Chelsea Football Club, and if the player wants the move, this could happen. Simon Johnson has said he would be surprised if this doesn't happen. So, a few things to talk about there. If you like daily updates regarding Chelsea Football Club, please do subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. Hey, only if you want to though, man. And if you do, hit the bell notifications icon, that's important. Please do drop a like on this video to help a brother out. All right, let's get into it. Right, a little bit different. Here I am again, Yannick, speaking to you. I just finished editing my Chelsea News video talking about Chelsea News and I go on Twitter and it explodes saying Sport Build has reported that Timo Werner is likely to join Chelsea this summer. To be fair man, this rarely has happened to me as a content creator when you get something out ready, something changes. Okay, so first off, disclaimer, take this with a pinch of salt because it's just something coming out from Bill and I don't know what to believe anymore. But they are saying Liverpool are unlikely to sign Timo Werner this summer and that it's more likely he goes to Chelsea, that Chelsea are going to activate his release clause, his buyout clause. Apparently he's going to sign a five-year deal at Chelsea till 2025 and he'll be getting play played? Paid 10 million euros a year. Now... Obviously, this is breaking news. I'm wearing a different shirt. Loads has happened since I've been editing this video, but I wanted to put it in this video and let you know what's going on because it's on Twitter and it's in football news media. I'm looking at my monitor now. I can only tell you what's happening in the headlines. They're saying so he's more likely to go to Chelsea. We know that things have been peculiar with him and Liverpool in terms of getting his dream move, his preferenced move, but now they're saying in Germany that yes, it is more likely he goes to Chelsea, and yes, it's probably going to be this summer, and he's going to sign a five-year deal and get paid 10 million euros a year. Obviously, if true, I don't know if this is true, this would be absolutely huge news. I'm going to leave it there for the moment. If you want my opinion on Timo Werner, go and watch previous videos that I've done on him. I've spoken about him, I've spoken about the type of player he is. So go check that out. And for the moment, I'm gonna let you carry on with the rest of the news stories in this video. And I'll keep you guys updated. Just make sure you keep coming back to Football Therapy. All right, carry on. So let's start with old Chili B. Ben Chilwell, young left back, been in poor form for a long, long time. Obviously I talk about him a lot on this channel, certainly of late. In the last video I've done, I've talked about poor form, wants to go to Chelsea. Apparently he's told Brendan Rodgers he wants to make the move, which is big. Frank Lampard obviously wants him. We know Chilwell's his first choice left back. And Ashley Cole has uh, previously mentioned that he would love to see Ben Chilwell at Chelsea. I've spoken about this in the previous video. Go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. But there's been a few updates with what Simon Johnson's been saying. He's a very good journalist, works for The Athletic and has strong links, ties with the club. He's, you know, there's a few sort of journos that you want to listen to more generally writers for The Athletic, you know, the likes of Matt Law as well, all these kind of people that have long had ties to Chelsea Football Club. Yeah, anyway, Simon Johnson is saying that he would be surprised if Chelsea don't sign Ben Chilwell. Now, we've all been 
an uproar, Chelsea fans. Split down the middle. Half of us say, yep, yeah, bring in Ben. Half of us saying, no, Tagliafico or Tellez. But the main criticism of Ben Chilwell not really is his poor form of late, it was the price tag of £85 million. Now, we all probably assumed that would go down in the pandemic's financial climate, but apparently it could come down quite a lot. Simon Johnson is saying he reckons for about £40 to £50 million if Chelsea signed Ben Chilwell, England's starting left back at, what, 23 years old? For £40 million, and the likes of Harry Maguire is going to Man United for £85 million. Suddenly, I think everyone around the Chelsea fan base would chill. Yes, he's been in poor form since the turn of the year, but he is a very good player. We've seen, you know, top three left backs in the Premier League still, while he's still very young, beginning of the season and last season, very good. Obviously, if Frank can see what he does and says, you know what, mate, that could work in my team. Premier League proven. Bring him in. I just want to let you guys know, although Tagliafico, Tellez, these guys could be options, in terms of the club's priority target, it is Ben Chilwell. That's who Frank Lampard wants. There's a good relationship between Leicester and Chelsea in terms of doing business, and the player apparently wants the move. So that's why Simon is saying he'd be surprised if he doesn't come to Chelsea. So there's your Chili B update. Let's move on. All right, let's talk about Kai Havertz. Havertz is obviously recaptured the imagination of everyone in terms of him coming to their teams. Since the resumption of football in Germany, he's exploded. He had an incredible season last season. And although he went a little bit cold before the pause of football, he's come back with a bang and he's scoring goals and looking like a bad man. Only 20 years old, breaking records. He can play as a attacking midfielder, false nine, second striker. Um, probably on the flanks as an inside forward, very, very lethal, and basically just finds a way. He's one of those players that when they're in the hole or perhaps entering the final third, he's silky, he glides. A lot of people say he's like Kaka in many ways, but when he comes to the six yard box, he manages to squeeze in goals, he finds a way. I reckon that would work very well in the Premier League. And Christian Falk, head of football at Build, at Sport Build, has said Chelsea are at the table in terms of trying to sign Kai Havertz. I mean, he also says, so are the Spanish giants, Liverpool and Man United. So a lot of people are interested. Unsurprisingly, he's a baller. But if Chelsea are still indeed looking for that marquee signing, you know, good for marketability, good for scoring goals, a big name, performed well elsewhere to bring in and excite fans. They, you know, they want someone like Jadon Sancho. They'd probably also consider the likes of Timo Werner. Kai Havertz meets that requirement or is in that bracket is what I'm trying to say. So if you've watched recent videos, I've explained how Chelsea are in a relatively unique situation when it comes to financial muscle slash ability. They have a little bit of money to spend. Them and Man United are the two sort of big candidates in the in English football really in terms of making large purchases. And of course, if you wait for do indeed relax financial fair play regulations for a bit, then Chelsea could even put even more money in essentially. It means Roman Abramovich could actually pump his own cash into certain purchases and transfers. Chelsea could be making player transfers like Kai Havertz to Chelsea happen. It could happen. At the moment, it's just noise. It's just confirmation, apparently, from a German outlet saying Chelsea are interested. It's not me saying this, people. It's the papers. Right then, let's move on to the five substitutes situation. Yet yeah, we've seen it in Germany. Basically, you're allowed five players to come on the pitch, but only in three Times. Times, is that the way to say it? Windows, free transfer, with free transfer windows, Jesus. Free substitution windows for a game, so it basically prevents time wasting. So you can make two, one, two, whatever. This was obviously brought into Germany to save injuries, I guess, help out with fitness because there's a, you know, players are coming back, probably not match fit, and also there's a real large amount of games in a condensed period of time. So they gladly accepted it. We've known for a while the same offer was on the table for the Premier League, but the Premier League have accepted it so they can make five substitutions per game in free sub windows. Now I wanted to talk about this because this does suit Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea have a relatively strong bench. Chelsea might not have the strongest starting 11 if you compare it to the likes of Manchester City or Liverpool, and maybe even certain areas, the likes of Leicester, but what they do have is they have loads of generally good 
promising players. You know, they're four good centre backs. You know, they do have options at full back, even if Frank Lampard doesn't want to use him. Three usable strikers in Tammy, Giroud, and Batshuayi at times, and obviously a load of rotational wingers, loads of midfielders at Chelsea Football Club. So, if Frank just wants to get fresh legs on pace, he can make changes knowing that the player that comes on for whoever you started isn't going to be a lot worse. Like, you know, he trusts Ross Barkley, and Ross Barkley's got a good athleticism. Bringing him on against, you know, a lower league opposition team, he can trust him to run him around a little bit. Just little things, substitutions that he wouldn't usually make because he has to keep them as a backup for injury or just a tactical switch. Now he has five chances, he can literally just do it for pace and utilize talent that perhaps Chelsea have more so than top four rivals. Imagine you start Ruben Loftus-Cheek who's beasting it, who we know is a very good footballer, comes off at 60 minutes and you bring on a Mason Mount energy to burn, full pace, absolutely excellent pressing midfielder, the opposition is just going to be like, Ugh. do you know what I mean? So suddenly, I think this could give Chelsea the edge in many ways. I've also tweeted out, I made this joke about how Chelsea were awful at home all season, and if there's one thing the Bundesliga has taught us since the resumption of football behind closed doors, is really home advantage is gone, or certainly the results and stats would dictate that. So I'm chalking that one up as a win. Chelsea can feel like they're always away and perform better. So I know that's a bit tongue in cheek, but it might benefit Chelsea. But certainly the five substitutes thing, I think that genuinely will benefit Chelsea Football Club. But anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know. Do you agree with me with the whole substitutes thing? Do you think Chelsea are in a unique position in terms of taking advantage of fresh legs with good players on the bench? Let me know that. Talk about Kai Havertz down in the comment section as well. And now I've given you an update on Ben Chilwell with with perhaps a much more reasonable price tag attached to his name. Has that changed your mind at all? Express yourself down in the comment section below. Of course, like normal, I'll be down there looking at your comments, replying to some, basically seeing what the collective opinion is of the Chelsea fandom. So please do comment and if you've enjoyed the content, like the video, subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new to the channel. Man, I'm out. Enjoy the football that's happening soon and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chuck In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby